magazine had been made a few days before, yet we saw in the footage that it was a month before. Did you tell her about that and ask her about it, or you just did it? Well, it was only decided yesterday. Oh, yeah. It's your jewelry, it's our magazine, and we made her look stunning, and then she decides that it's just not good enough. I, I don't want that energy in the magazine. We're dropping it, we have a stunning model, we have an amazing shoot today. Why weren't you up front with Doreen? No, but no, in the footage, you see me reshooting it. Right. But we don't know if we're going to like them. We used to read pictures with, of her hands and her decollete. But did you do that and cut off the head because, genuinely, Lisa, because you know we're honest with one another, yeah. because you were looking to I punish me or punish you because you didn't like them? Lisa, but I it is kind said, of harsh to cut off someone's head. But that was it. Exactly, kind of is. That was exactly. You know, it's kind of like, like you know what? F you. It's like f you do what I yeah. wanted. You made a scene. She feels like you were an asshole. Watch me. I'm gonna be another asshole and chop your f head off and put him in. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, you've been punished by Lisa in a fun way. Was it? Was, where do you <laughs> so see fun. this? Listen. Do I think that the head was chopped off on purpose? <laughs> be honest. I mean, be honest. Yeah, I think she thought, well, whatever, you don't want to be in it, fine. Off with her head. Well, I mean, you didn't chop her head off not on purpose. It wasn't a mistake that you chopped her head off. I don't want to go into the dynamics of the magazine, but I didn't personally edit the photographs. How did you ultimately feel about seeing your head chopped off? Well, I, I, I felt like she could have had a dialogue with me and let me know that. Did you believe Lisa when she said that she had only made the decision a few days before? No. You think she had made it with, it was I do, done. because evidence points to that. I mean, she had another photo shoot. Vanderpump, at the fashion show, when you said Dorit's photos would run in the magazine, but it would only feature her hands and Which decolletage. Is exactly what I thought it was going to be originally. To me, it you looked like you were right making the decision in that moment. It kind of looked like you were spitballing. No. What, you mean right then and there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No. Actually, I don't want to... I don't make those de decisions, honestly. You don't. The fashion director does. I, you know, at least the editor in chief. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I know. I'm sure I, if no. you wanted photos in a magazine, they would be in the but magazine. But by then, I didn't care. I really didn't care because you weren't happy with them. I didn't care. Okay. Do you wish you'd been in it? I think it normally you don't nice. even have that power. If you're in a magazine and you shoot it, the the editor gets to put in whatever they want. Why did you give her so much power? Like, why did you care? Why didn't you just print those pictures? They were gorgeous. Like, why didn't you? Because Mark was absolutely adamant that any negativity surrounding the magazine was not going to fly. But the negative picture still ended up at the in the final cut. Yeah, no. you just cut her head off. And yeah, you just cut the head off. But, do you see what I'm saying? But yeah, it's but still it the same images. Her because she wasn't happy with how she looked. But it's still the same images. No, no the still negative not. images it's made negative the final print head. anyway. So they're still, still there. The body. negative images are still there's there. There's no negativity. Why didn't you the... use the other model's was, pictures? Am I right? Was then it, there'd be was, no negativity. You think... You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Yeah. How the f do you win with this group? I you don't. Are. But you know what? You I think don't you win. You are making no, it I think you hit the nail on yeah. the head with every one of us feel that yes. exact same way. You put it absolutely beautifully. Yeah, because we all oh, feel you that. Win. You can't. Yes. Okay. There's so no we're way to lose. Yes. Let's get used to it. Yes. So how are the two of you these days? Well, until today, we were doing really well. <laughs> Is the issue out now on stands? Yes. <laughs> do you want a copy? So you I want to like see her chop top head. <laughs> Rinna, you said that Dorit's time with Vanderpump as the pet may be up because a newer, younger version has come along. <laughs> so by that math, yes. that means Teddy could be on her way out. Well, Teddy better mind her P's and Q's, certainly. Yes, <laughs> that's, okay, we do see the funny side, but I have a very different relationship with Teddy than I, I mean, she's four years older than my daughter, for God's sake. So it is very different compared to, you know, these old bags. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go on, little bag. Lisa, when did you first start calling Teddy Teddy Bear? I told her when I first met her that Teddy was Ken's nickname and it's going to be the name of my first grandchild. I told you that. So she's like a little teddy bear. I just, I think she's so cute. I mean, do you I'm, like the nickname? I don't mind care. it. I mean, it's one of those things like, from the very start, she was very welcoming to me, and that's how I took it. Dorit, what do you think of the nickname? <laughs> I, it's, you know, I'm not calling her it, so it, it doesn't really matter what I think.
<laughs> she likes it. <laughs> Lisa, you kind of like it that Dorit was jealous she of your friendship to squirm. with Teddy. I think she does enjoy watching you know her what? squirm. I, what I was saddened about was the demise of my friendship with Dorit. It's I not wish... demise. It's not still demise. together. At the time, it was. At the time, it was. It's a Erica. bump in the road where you learn about exactly. each other and you yeah. grow from it. It's fine. It demise, babe. No, but. A temporary demise. And that's the, better. Okay. But well, why? I, because she called you insecure and what was the other thing? Your mom didn't love Media you. Of, or, I mean, but it, like, just, what level are we talking? I'm just, I'm trying to get clear on it because it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. It wasn't that big of a deal, but my feelings were hurt. Okay. As and in Teddy all honesty, said, my, her feelings would have been hurt too. And as Erica actually agreed, said her feelings would be hurt. Very, so, by the way, I, yes. I said, that you guys are newer friends, even though you guys became yeah. close soon, you are newer friends. And I told you separately, without anyone around, you should say something about what you said, just because I do know her really well, and I didn't but want there to be a problem have, between the two of you guys. would have been hurt. And you know I was coming from a good place. I think you know that when I said that. You know what I think she does is that because she talks so much, she forgets the accuracy in her recollection. You yeah, know? but boy, were you hard on me when I didn't remember the accuracy of my recollection. Yeah, well, we were, yeah. Of course you feel safe. I feel safe maligning somebody else. I wasn't maligning. But you, you were contesting her sobriety. This was after, you know, after game night. But it, so you make that judgment call? Yeah, it wasn't just from, necessarily from a fair here? judgment call. Well, well it normally, was a judgment, though, Lisa. Yes, it was, Lisa. It's so interesting to me that we all have different standards for, for each We and have every, different yeah. standards. We really do. Well, we'll be right back.